It's time for our interesting stories chat with Richard Southern. Baseball season is just days away and the Jays will be serving up more than just home runs for the fans at Rogers Center, Richard. I'm very excited for baseball season, Erica, and I'm very excited to get a look at the new renovated Rogers Center. They have new bars and new eateries. And yes, new menu items, including this year, Erica, <laughs> it is the poutine, the poutine hot dog. Looks healthy. <laughs> Yay or nay on that one, Erica, for you. Yeah, if you're at the ballpark, absolutely. You have to. Because calories don't count no, at the ballpark, they don't. right? <laughs> It's billed as a classic, classic Snyder's hot dog topped with hash brown potatoes, cheese curds, and gravy. Sells for $10, so save your pennies for that one. Also new at the Rogers Center this year, peanut butter and jelly churros, bun mi sandwiches, yes please, jerk chicken nachos, and I'm excited about this, the iconic Toronto staple, the pea meal sandwich, finally available at J Games. Erica, how about I'm, that? I'm going just for the food and for the J's. But also the food. Last season, last season, City News producer Mike Visser and I went to the Dollar Hot Dog Games, which they have again this year, and we put away like I think 15 or 20 of them. Very ashamed to say that, Erica. <laughs> Proud of but you we, guys. We, we made a killing. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, we know the traffic in Toronto is pretty bad, but just how bad? We're getting some new statistics on that tonight, Richard. Yeah, like we rank in like the top worst uh, traffic in North America, Erica. New research by. Uh, OntarioBets.com. Can you wager on this stuff now? Ontario Bets says the odds of being late in Toronto are near the highest in North America. Getting across the T dot takes an average of 44.9 minutes now, landing our city fifth overall in North America. Los Angeles has the longest commute, followed by San Francisco, Detroit, Boston, and then Toronto. And, um, you know, I've just given up being on time, uh, Erica. You know, when I meet a friend, I give them a window now, like the cable repair guy gives you. And you I know, think like if a three-hour yeah, window. Between nine to five at some point, we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we did test it on City News, by the way, and uh, it is as bad as they say it is. Uh, do you have a coworker who annoys you? There's a new ranking of some of the sounds that we just can't stand, and many of them can be heard every day in the workplace, Richard. Wait, do you have a coworker that annoys you, Erica? Um, no. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Uh, listen, there are some sounds that make people very angry. There's actually a medical term for this. Uh, it's called misophonia, and there's a new study out of the UK that finds one in five people suffer from this. What are the sounds that annoy us most? Chewing tops the list, followed by heavy breathing, coughing, pen clicking, and throat clearing. Do any of those make you angry, Erica? Pen clicking, yeah, that does kind of annoy me a little bit. Yeah. The, pen the guy clicking. behind you pen clicking. Yeah. Oh, I can't stand it. Yeah. Is is there a sound that makes you angry though? More than uh, sounds more than that those? make me angry. Well, none of them on the list. But my my fire alarm was chirping recently, and and it happened at 1 a.m. And so I mm. it was very annoying, very much so. Some other people were saying, you know, when people finish a yogurt uh, can and they're scraping the bottom of the plastic oh, yogurt yeah. container, that's an annoying sound. <laughs> Just all annoyed with each other. Okay, great. Yeah. Thanks, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.